na kiongozi wetu wa bunge speaker wetangula na wananchi wa hapa mlembevosi mlembevosi eh naitwa Kemani Ishongwa kwetu ni huko Kikuyu Kiambu County pale mlima Kenya na nimefurahi kuja kuungana na ndugu yetu Faruk na mheshimiwa naibu wa rais na viongozi wengine kwa hafla hii ya shukrani kupitia kwa makanisa ambayo Faruk ni patron wake na mheshimiwa Faruk ni vizuri kuwa patron wa makanisa najua wakati ulikuwa hapa ulisema kuna mapatron hata iko patron ya maandamano na wewe umeamua usiandamane kama sio maandamano ya Palm Sunday ya kanisa la Katoliki na tunakushukuru na ndio tumekuja kukushikilia na watu wa eneo hili. Mengi yamesemwa mheshimiwa naibu wa rais kwa hivyo sitakuwa mwingi wa maneno. Lakini jua jana na nimesikia mheshimiwa Beatrice akisema ya kuwa watu wamepora mali kwa maduka mpaka wamemaliza huko Kisumu sasa wameanza kupora maiti kwa mochari na umesikia mheshimiwa waziri wetu wa barabara akituambia yale yanatendeka mpaka wawekezaji wanahama kutoka Kisumu wanatoa uwekezaji wao Kisumu wapeleke sehemu zingine watu wanaharibu mabarabara na wale wanaofanya hayo yule anaowaongoza anawaambia anawaongoza waharibu mali gine watoto wa mamama na wazee wa uwawe kwa maandamano kwa kisingizio cha gharama ya maisha na kufunguliwa kwa sava na spika wangu ambaye ni wakili shupavu huyu papa wa Roma na ni mkatoliki mwema kwa hivyo usema ukweli kuambia pale Supreme Court tarehe 31 mwezi wa nane hiyo sava wanauliza ifunguliwe Supreme Court iliamrisha ifunguliwe ikafunguliwa wakakagua na wakatosheka na yale aliyokuwa ndani ya sava sasa wanaambia rais William Ruto na naibu wa rais atiwafungue sava na nimeona wengine wakiandamana Nairobi wengine wako uchi wengine amevaa tu suruari ameandika huko nyuma fungua sava sasa nikajiuliza hii mheshimiwa naibu rais hii sava unaambiwa ufungue ni hiyo watu wako na suruari wanakuambia ufungue sava na rais na wewe ni mtu wa kanisa huyo naibu wa rais ni mtu wa PCA rais wetu ni mtu wa kanisa hizo sava hawa hawezi kujua kufungua hawa wametuambia funguo walio nayo ni sava ya uchumi wa Kenya venye tutafungua uchumi watu warudishe pesa mfukoni venye tuliwaahidi tukifanya campaign hata hapa therefore your excellency i just want to call out the hypocrisy of our friends that you can't be demanding that president william ruto opens servers that were opened by the supreme court and you verified the results of that electoral process that is the height of hypocrisy you cannot be telling us like the former prime minister was telling us yesterday i saw him lecturing us on how democracy should precede development and i agree with him democracy precedes development but it is also true that for us to bring down the cost of living that you are asking us to do there must be development and development cannot be there if you become disruptive to our economy and destroy the economy that will be creating a means of earning livelihood for the people of Kenya to be able to bear the cost of living and i heard him yesterday lecture our international partner saying that they are quiet as their demonstrations are disrupted apparently but we want to tell mr odinga 
the international community is not quiet they are watching you as you slide our country into anarchy the international criminal court equally is watching you as you slide our nation into anarchy and since i heard you lecture our international development partners on the tenets of democracy let me also educate you sababu labda uzee imekuingia umesahau kidogo the tenets of democracy anarchy is not one of the tenets of democracy and you cannot be inciting the country into anarchy and lecturing the world about democracy one of the chief tenets of democracy is the adherence to the rule of law constitutionalism and law and order if you demand respect as a former prime minister respect those who have been elected by the people of kenya to govern our country and allow peace to prevail anarchy will only take you to icc na nilisikia sababu siku hizi wewe na uhuru hamtaki kuona nikiongea na nitaongea ama ninyamaze niwaambie nisiwaambie najua nilisikia jana akisema alitaka kuniua wewe miaka yako yeye mwenye imebaki hakuna mtu anaweza kuua tumekuachia Mungu na tumwambie Raila nobody is interested in your life you are destroying your own life wewe mzee William Ruto Rigathi Gashagua Musalia Mudavadi Wetangula Kimani Ishongwa na wale wengine una shida ukitaja taja ati tuna haja na maisha yako hatuna haja na maisha yako tuna haja na maisha ya wa Kenya wenye unaua kwa maandamano watoto wa wenyewe na wewe Raila huwezi hata tembelea hizo mafamilia lakini una nguvu una uwezo wa kwenda kumtembelea shamba la uhuru Kenyatta kuangalia miti iliyokatwa na kondoo kondoo na miti ndio ziko na maana kuliko maisha ya wananchi kweli Tumwambie tusimwambie. Wewe Raila elewa vizuri maisha ya kondoo ni muhimu. Miti ni muhimu. Lakini maisha ya watoto ya wenyewe wenye unaelekeza wakafe ndio muhimu zaidi. Mali ya familia ya Kenyatta ni muhimu. Kama mali ya vijana na wamama ambao umebomolea maduka zao Kisumu kama mali ya wale watu wa embakasi na najua wewe Raila you are targeting specifically Kikuyu owned enterprises in the city of Nairobi because we did not vote for you we want to tell you as a people of Mount Kenya we do not owe you anything Mr Raila Odinga if you want to look for anybody who owes you anything look for Uhuru Kenyatta he is the one who promised you votes sisi tulijaribu kukushauri tukiwa na rigadhi na wale wengine tukakwambia Mount Kenya huwezi pata kura kwa hivyo usitupanish na kubomoa biashara za watu wa mlima Kenya eti sababu tulikataa kukupea kura heshimu mali ya watu wengine vile yako inavyoheshimiwa nilisikia madha karua akisema ati anapeleka sijui IG kotini sababu gari yake iligongwa kwa maandamano sasa nikauliza wewe ni gari wale wameuawa wewe mother karua three women who were raped by your goons in madhare watapeleka nani kotini kama sio wewe na raila and i want to declare today raila your excellency don't treat raila odinga with kid gloves asipembelezwe ako na bahati ni wewe naibu wa rais na rais muko kwa uongozi kama ingekuwa mimi huyo mtu angeona huyo mtu ati ubomoe biashara za watu uende ukapore mpaka maiti unatoa maiti kwa sanduku unatupa nje uibe sanduku la maiti unabomoa biashara za watu Nairobi Enraila Odinga we respected you 
as a father of democracy in this country. But you have since transitioned from a fighter for democracy to a hired goon. You are now a mercenary for hire, hired by Uhuru Kenyatta to try and blackmail a legitimately elected government by the people of Kenya. We want to demand that the government must now treat Raila Odinga as a leader of goons, as a leader who is leading hooligans who are maiming, raping, and looting people, not just in Kisumu, but also in parts of Nairobi. And they must be stopped. Wasimamisho or asisimamisho? Wasimamisho or asisimamisho? Na unajua ni venye tu tunapenda amani mweshimua naibu wa rais. Sio ati hatuna uwezo wa kukusanya watu walinde mali yao. But because we value the peace of our country above everything else. That's why we exercise restraint. Hata kama juzi niliona wakienda ati kupiga piga factory yake ile ya gas. Na shamba ya uhuru ati ili watu wekele hiyo. Na niliwambia... Sisi sio watu wa kutishwa wali tuwekele hata huyu naibu wa rais walimwekelea mambo akashikwa akapelekwa kotini si ameachiliwa kwa hivyo msichoke mukivamia manyumba zenyu na mjiulize wa Kenya kama Raila Odinga mke wake ako kwa ofisi siku ya Jumatatu wafanyi kazi zaidi ya mia moja wako kazini pale Spectra East Africa na anakuambia wewe usifungue duka ati ni holiday Kama kwa shule ya peponi school ya uhuru kenyata, watoto wanasoma. Na unambia watoto wa maskini kibra wasiende shule na wengine kisumu wasiende shule. Na by the way, ni msaemu kidogo kidogo tu na naibu wa rais tafadhali zimeni imaneno. Sababu mlima Kenya yote, hakuna maandamano. Ndiyo walijaribu ati wakivamia shamba ya kenyata, ati watu wa Mount Kenya, wataamuka waingie kwa maandamano wa join kwa maandamano watu wa Mount Kenya walichanuka watu wa western mmeona governor wetu hapa Kakamega hayuko kwa maandamano Kakamega yuko maandamano watoto wanasoma hawasomi si mnaendelea na biashara uende Mount Kenya ni vivyo hivyo hakuna maandamano watoto wanasoma biashara zinaendelea uende northeastern Kenya hivyo hivyo no maandamano Watoto wanasoma, biashara zinaendelea. Uende coast, hivo, hivo. Maandamano sasa imebaki hapa kisumu peke yake. And he is bringing goons. Ili kuenda kupora mali ya watu. That we want to tell you Mr. Raila Odinga, you will stop. If you do not stop, government must use all legitimate force to stop you from destroying our country, destroying the peace and tranquility in our country, and destroying other people's properties. Kwa hayo mengi, nikirudi Nairobi, nikiona huyo mzee, nichune masikio? Nichune, nisichune? Nichune? Asikie vizuri? Na tumuambia, tunamutakia maisha marefu. Hakuna mtu anahaja na maisha yake. Sasa ukisha miaka the manini, kwa ni unafikiria utaishi miaka ngapi dunia hii? Lakini hayo, Sisi tumekuachia mwenyezi mungu. Serikali ya William Ruto sio serikali ya handshake. Serikali yako wewe Raila Odinga na Uhuru Kenyata. Muliua wa Kenya miambili karibu na thelathini. Mukatupa miliyao hapa Rivayala. Mukatupa wengine ya Badea, wengine Savo. We want to tell you this is a government that respects God and values the sanctity of life. We have no business with your life. Wewe beba shida zako, peleka kwako. Lakini usilete wa Kenya wengine. And nobody is interested na wewe. Lakini wewe pia heshimu maisha ya watoto wa wenyewe. Yule kijana alikufa kisumu juzi. Yule wa university alikufa ile wiki ingine. Ni watoto. Ni binadamu. Kama yule mtoto wako umepeleka iyala. Ama yule wakalonzo musioka. Baitha yata kwa wakalonzo musioka machakos, kitui, hakuna maanda mano. Na kalonzo ndiye huyo, hamefuata huyo mutu. Kwa madha karua, mahali alipata kura tatu. Huko kerenyaga. Ama munafikiria madha karua liletea raila kura. 
alipata kura ngapi yake na ingine ya wale wengine wawili walikuwa hapo Kerenyaga si mnajua mulevi alikuwa anauza pombe hapo Kagio sitaki kumdhaja jina sababu ametulia aendelee kutulia si ndio watu amulembe mumesema sio maandamano ni maendeleo Asante muendelee hivyo tukae kwa amani na musitishwe na mtu wa kitendawili fujo kurusha mawe si William Ruto alituambia huyu mtu ni yule yule tu wa kungoa reli si sasa anangoa reli huko Nairobi si ndio hiyo mruko mna amesema anangoa guardrails si anarusha mawe na akirushiwa tia gas canister moja anasema anataka kuniua kuna mtu anataka kuua si tumuombe Mungu jameni Afunguke macho. Asante ni Mungu wabariki. Basi Mheshimiwa wa Luke anaondoka amepeana shilingi 1100 kwa makanisa.